What's up, YouTube family? It's your girl Mide. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another exciting video for you guys. You can see by the title, you already know what I'm about to be doing. I'm here at the Department of Linguistics and African Languages of Bafemi Awolowo University. They have a lot of beautiful statues. So I just said, why not bring you guys on a tour with me? Let's go. <laughs> A policeman or a soldier i don't know because the artwork is actually old but then i believe he's fighting for justice in nigeria let's go to the next one so up next we have this handsome and obviously fit pan wine tapa you can see he has six packs you don't have six packs because you are only eating a bayaba change anyway he's holding his i don't remember what this is called his guard and the rope we used to climb the palm tree. Keep it up, bro. I'm not sure what he's doing, but this actually looks like a schoolboy because of his shorts and his stop. So I'll just okay. He's wearing socks and shoes too. So I think I'm right. This is just a regular schoolboy. Okay, so this is a drummer. This is the drum. I thought those were drumsticks, but there is there is fingers, and it seems to be drumming like so seriously because his mouth and eyes are quite <laughs> protruding and he reminds me of the Anyo family from the yoruba kingdom they are drummers so you've heard any name that's Anyo. it just means the person is from a lineage of drummers this is just a sad woman she's holding carries actually and she's tying a rapper so i don't get but i know she's sad because these are breasts if you are less than 18 years old close your eyes and don't look at breasts but you see this hairstyle, it reminds me of myself because I can do two cornrows. Ha! If you know me, you know me and this hairstyle, we are like this. This is a guy, a boy actually, but he can say a guy because he looks tall. And I think he has packs too. Holding a catapult. This statue actually reminds me of David and Goliath in the Bible. David was so young yet so brave. With just this, he's trying to target probably a prey or something. but. This just resonates to me in some way that with whatever you have, hit that target. You can do it. Tattoo is actually so confusing, but I believe he's an herbalist because of this, because of this charm on his neck and this bead. This is also um, a kind of charm that's actually popular in Yoruba Nollywood, judging by the carries around it. But what I don't understand is why he's actually stretching forth his face. I actually thought that was a mask, but it is his face because there's ear. There is mouth, there is nose, there is eyes. So I don't get him, but of course he's an herbalist, I think. So this is the old woman. See her long head. See her long breasts. I don't even know what she's doing, but well done to her. This was actually made in. Okay, the year is not there. Hi guys, my name is Olu Akpemi. <laughs> and I saw this tattoo and I was really motivated by it why so what really motivates me about this guy is the fact that even though the lion's mouth is open and we know how the lion is in the animal kingdom he's undaunted and it looks like he's not scared or anything look at his face closes he's not worried because he's confident of the fact that he has all that he needs to be able to defeat the lion and i'm a believer and I do believe that I have all that I need because I have Jesus Christ inside me to face any challenge of this life. When I saw this statue at first, I actually did not really understand it. But I saw that it's actually an embodiment of true womanhood. As we can see from this statue, the woman is holding a suitcase which actually signifies the fact that she works, she is employed. Secondly, she's carrying a basket. Maybe she's coming from the market. And those are foodstuffs. Finally, she has a baby. She's working. She's a mother. And yet, she's providing for the family. I celebrate women for real. It's not easy. Follow me, guys. There's more to see. I give you five seconds to guess who this is. Five, four, three, two, one. This is Lagwaja. He is a very, very popular African Nigerian musician. 
he is known for playing the saxophone and also covering his face. That is, he owns an anonymous identity. Lagbaja is so successful at his job, he's so good at what he does. The person that did this artwork actually titled it Rescue. The title of this statue is actually Emancipation. That is freedom, fighting for freedom. We can see this, um, this man, he was able to free himself. These are chains. He was able to free himself from slavery. See leg chains, see hand chains, and everything like that. So this, is actually, this actually talks about um, slavery. But we have both physical slavery and also mental slavery. So while others can actually free us from physical slavery, only we ourselves can actually free ourselves from mental slavery. Okay, as for this statue, I initially thought it was just a statue of a lady dancing. Um, but a lady walked up to me and told me that it is actually a sad dance, not a good dance. And it's like a myth from Ile, so me, something, something, something. So, I don't know, sure. Sorry, guys, my microphone already went off at this point. But this is Ola me. He's a very popular Nigerian man known for his wonderful and numerous literary works. I like everything about this statue, especially the glasses. Sadly, I couldn't complete the vlog on the first day due to the fact that I had to go prepare for the grand presidential dinner. But of course, I came back with my friends from my school the following day to complete the tour and look around. So, I won't be talking as much due to the fact that there was noise from like everybody. But anyways, still enjoy the vlog. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.